Good morning, people. I woke up this morning to this. This is a brand new loaf of bread. Do you see what's crawling inside there? Ants. Check that out. Do you see that? And it came from the pantry. Now I have to clean all my pantry. Today is Tuesday. And I send my kids off to school today. Yeah, I did the online yesterday. And I have two kids and me and my husband were trying to do the online thing. And it just wasn't working out. Like, nothing worked. My kids didn't know what the hell was going on. So we called the school and we said, can we send them? And we send them today. And hopefully it works out for us. Yeah, online is not for us. No, it doesn't. No ants on this bread. Funny, why couldn't they eat the one that had less bread? Why'd they have to go for the one that was full? <sighs> they do not want to get bit by ants again. You know what else I'm doing today, guys? Besides cleaning ants in my kitchen? I am making some beans. You know what's the secret to homemade beans? Consomate. Or, how everybody else likes to say it, chicken bouillon, the tomato one. But in my house, we call it consomate. That is the secret to homemade beans, in case y'all didn't know. Guys, I don't know where these ants are coming from. They just, it just happened like last night. Look, there's, there's ants all over here. Hell no, hell no. Do you see that? Uh-uh, nope to the trash and let's pray the Lord Jesus they stay in the trash <sighs> that way I can not have to worry about them I'll just throw the trash out oh god this is gonna be bad oh I already feel them crawling all over me hell no <gasps> look there is ants in here oh oh hell no something bit me I can't deal with this let me go throw this in the trash hell no not today, Helen. Mm -mm. Nope. Pork rinds. Also full of ants to the trash. Oh, I'm assuming there's ants in here too. But I don't see any. Rice cakes. I don't see any ants in those. Extra virgin olive oil because you gotta stay healthy, you know what I'm saying? Special K. It looks to be ant free. Oh God, I can see them. Can you all see that? My saltines, they look to be okay. And pancake mix. I always have this little handy dandy thing and sometimes I'll put Fabuloso in here or Clorox. So I'm just gonna spray them with Clorox. Definitely slowing them down, so well, that's good. Luckily, all my cooking stuff is in Ziploc bags, just because I know that cooking stuff um, can get those little buggies. My mom used to call them gurupos, but I don't know what they're called in English, you know. The little cooking, the little bugs that get on the flour all the time, those, and on the pastas, they're dying. I have yeast to make conchitas, but I have yet to make conchitas, so we'll see. Maybe in a video I'll make conchitas with you guys. The macaroni and cheese I bought for Emma. 
trechas. Oh, guys, I tried this already with my husband. It wasn't that spicy for me, but I only took like three bites and then I gave it to my husband. The reason for that is because like, I, like y'all know I have surgery I, or I've had surgery on my stomach. So I try not to eat anything spicy because it's bad for me. And also I ate a bag of Flaming Hots that day. Don't judge me. Cake flour, raisins to make oatmeal and raisin cookies. Guys, I'm a big baker. I like to bake. Almond powder, or I'm sorry, almond flour because I wanted to make some macaroons. When I make este flan cake, I use this. La lechera, dulce de leche. I have a lot of chiles. These are chiles guajillos because I made birria tacos a while back. Este chile pasilla. Chile ancho. And funny, they didn't get into the chiles. Porque es en chile. Tamarindo to make tamarindo apples, which I do often because I like a spicy snack, but since I'm trying to lay low on the, on the Cheetos and stuff like that, what I do is I get an apple and I will uh, wrap it around with tamarindo and that would be like my spicy snack, you know? Chile de arbor. These are called pilancillos and I was gonna use them to make marranitos but I have not done that. Maicena, which is kind of like cornstarch, but Mexican style. I made cookies, they're called Carmelita cookies. It's like a little circle with a bunch of little sprinkles or whatever. Crushed pineapples. Guys, I make the best million dollar pie. Mini chocolate chips for chocolate chip cookies. Molasses to make gingerbread cookies. Pumpkin puree to make pumpkin rolls. Sopitas de fideo. Coffee filters. Coffee, Folgers, medium roast. Sorry guys, I had to take a bathroom break. This is the salsa I use for enchiladas. And I've tried to make it original just with the chile guajillos and stuff like that. And I ended up thinking it tasted the same, in my opinion. In my opinion, it tastes the exact same. So why am I going to waste all my time making it from scratch when I can just buy the can? I use this coffee to make coffee cakes. I'm sure there's ants all over this thing. Yep. Yep. I'm about done cleaning my pantry. There's a couple of ants left. But not to worry. We're fixing to kill them. Oh, my garlic. It better not be on my garlic. Come on. Oh no. Oh! There's one on me. Let me show you all. Yep, I see him. Oh! Sorry, I'm all paranoid. I see it. Do you see it? Mm hmm. Yep, let's spray some Clorox on these bad boys. Okay, guys, I cleaned my pantry. And I just ended up spraying Clorox in the corners. Hopefully that works. And I am gonna throw away all this. And there's already ants crawling out of the bag. You can see them, they're on the wall. So let me go throw this outside.
fun fact about me guys when i cook bacon i know some people just throw it all in there but i like to do it separately so they're all together so what i do is i separate all three of them and put it in there is that weird and this is what happens when you use clorox Mother Pluckers. ¿Me chingo una tortilla o no? What do you think? <coughs> oh, hell no. I had an ant. Damn. Está bueno, está bueno. Una de maíz, para que no diga. My husband is still asleep. We should go wake him up. Let's go yell at him. No. He's awake. He's peeing. What? This water is so hot that you would love it. You feel it? What? Well, I would like for you to be feeling it. What is that little red light you got in your fucking hand? <laughs> what is that, you sack of potatoes? We're off to go pick up the kids from school. Guys, I know I look ratchet. Don't judge me, okay? It's been a lazy day today. Great. How was school, Trin? Good. Great. Did you do online? Yeah. Was it boring? A little bit. I knew it. That's right. Hey guys, real quick, I'm going to make a green salsa and I'm going to vlog it so y'all can see how I make it. You need tomatillos and you, they come with a little cascara so you have to peel it and wash them. So I've washed them and peeled them and they're in the pot. And now I'm going to use jalapenos and I'm gonna use two and I'm gonna cut the little tail off and I'm gonna throw them in the pot. You're gonna need a, like half of a very small little onion. Okay, I'm gonna put the onion in here as well and now we're gonna need garlic. Like two little cloves. Okay, so you're gonna put the two garlics in there and we're gonna have this come to a boil until they get soft. In the blender, you're going to put like a handful of cilantro and here's the secret ingredient, mayo. So you're just gonna add some mayo. That's one. Two. It'll make it creamy, I promise. 
chicken bouillon or consomate. The chicken one and salt and pepper. You're going to add a spoonful of chicken bouillon. You're going to add some pepper. Just eyeball it. That's good enough for me. Just like a pinch of salt, legit a pinch. So while we wait for the tomatillos to boil, I'm gonna show you all my beans. I have rice cooking. And I have enchiladas cooking in there. Once your tomatillos start to look like this one, they're ready. And there it is, my green salsa. Let's taste it. And so yeah, that was it for this vlog guys. We'll see you on the next one.